Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It feels like ages since I've been out metal detecting, but I'm finally going out today. I'm heading over to my favorite field, the Roman field, in the hopes that we're gonna dig up some more goodies. I'll see you there. Come across our first diggable signal of the day. About five minutes in. Nice solid 12. Lovely solid 12. Do a bit of a live dig on the first one. Never know. Might be something special. First hole. It's out. Whatever it is. This is the Roman field, so you never know. There it is. What is that? Little bit of lead. Never mind. Oh, I've got an interesting 810. Interesting. Sounds a little bit rough. But, yeah, it's got me interested, this one. I think it's out. Yeah, it's out there somewhere. Tiny little target. Is that? That's it. Whatever it is, it's tiny. A little clasp off something by the looks of it. Doesn't look particularly old. A little pin. Hmm. Not too sure on that one. Oh, hello, actually. It's got a little hand shape design. Yeah, can you see that hand shape? I'm not sure. Maybe it is an interesting little find. Definitely a hand, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Right, here we go. We've got a nice 22, 23. Not particularly deep, I don't think. I reckon it could be a copper coin. We might be lucky, might we? Might be our first coin. Oh, I think I can see it down there. Looks like a coin to me. What is that? Yep, it's definitely a coin. Superb. Not sure who it is just yet. I'd say probably George II. That's what I guess would be. I'll give it a quick spray up, see if I can get any detail off it, and I'll come back to you in a minute. There we are. It's a William II. Half penny. See the bust there. See the outline on the back of his head. See the G for Guillemus and the S. Yeah. Lovely. William II half penny. Got a nice signal here. Very loud. I'm thinking it's probably going to be on the surface. Or well, very close to the surface anyway. But let's get down there and have a little look. I think, actually. Can I see it? Ah, what is that? Oh yeah, what was on the surface? It's a broken piece of a crotal bell. You see that? Nice. It means there's still plenty of stuff on the field to find. Fantastic. This next signal is a really, really lovely 1617. Or 1718. Really crisp, really clear, beautiful signal. Well, that is a real shame. It is just a lump of lead. That was a beautiful signal. Absolutely stunning signal. Never mind, eh? Oh well, on to the next. Right, 
right, I've dug this massive hole thinking uh, it's a bit dodgy, the signal, but not sure. Probably worth a dig, probably thought it was going to be iron. And then look what I found. This crotal bell. Don't know if I can get it out. I might as well just wiggle it out gently. Uh, I think it's complete. Yes! It is complete. Fantastic. Another complete crotal bell. Nice pattern on the bottom there. What does it say on the bottom there? Does it say anything? Normally these have got WG on them. For William Gwynn. It's a big crotal belt maker back in the day. Fantastic. That's going to be a ringer, isn't it, for sure? Fantastic. Excellent. Right, I've got myself a nice 14 signal here. That sounds absolutely lovely. Not far from where I found that piece of crotal bell. Maybe it's the rest of it. Never know, do you? Let's have a little look. It's definitely out. Pinpoint a job. Straight on it. Uh, there we go. It is just a button. But it is complete with the shank on the back. Not too bad. Well, we seem to be getting on the fines now. Had a bit of a uh, slow start. But we seem to be getting some decent signals now. Nice. On to the next one. Well, <laughs> this rang up a little late. Not old, but interesting. How on earth does that get all the way out here? All the way out here. <laughs> a little door lock cover. Right, we're straight onto a nice 1214 signal here. Let's get, have a little look at this one. Dig it out. Still there. We're out. There somewhere. Is that it? Ah, it's another blooming shotty. There are quite a few of them so far today. Never mind. We won't waste any more time. Let's carry on. Got a nice, solid, loud 13 signal. I like that. I like that. out already I'm here in this little clod what's it gonna be tiny oh there it is underneath it's a button another button that's two for the day cool Well, this is probably the best signal I've had for about half an hour. I was 22, 23, 24. And it's this nice piece of buckle. I'd imagine it's off horse tack. I thought, but yeah, cool. Nice bit of buckle. Right, I've got a really nice 15, 16. Really small target. Nice, crisp, clean tone. Very nice signal indeed, that one. Very nice. I think we're out. Out down here. What is that? 
It's tiny. Oh, fantastic. It's a teeny tiny little Roman coin. Excellent. Can't really see much detail on it. I'll get you on the other camera and you can see it on there. There we go, look. Teeny tiny little Roman coin. Fantastic. Nice. No chance of getting any detail off that, unfortunately. But a Roman coin's a Roman coin. Happy with that. Right, I've come across a nice 1920. It's been a while since I've had a signal, actually. A bit windy up this end of the field. What we got? What we got? Is that it there? I think it is. What is that? It's shaped. Bronze. Not sure. It's a strange one that. I'm not sure on that one at all. Well, I don't film the signal of this one, but I thought I'd show you. Just found a little bit of a old medieval buckle. I like that. Brilliant. Nice. I come across a lovely 1819 here. 1920 absolutely brilliant we have our second roman coin of the day nice big fat one there look superb i don't normally find roman coins down this end of the field so this is a really good sign i don't come up this end of the field very often because it's an absolutely massive field it's about 80 or 90 acres but yeah wow really pleased with that another roman coin that's two for today well, I've got a slightly jumpy 10, 11, 12. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I would say that is a bent and folded over hammered coin. Fantastic. Nice, a little hammered. Was not expecting that today. Fantastic. There we go, just giving it a little gentle clean, unmistakable silver hammered coin. Absolutely made up with that, I haven't found a hammer for a little while now. Fantastic. Right, I've got a reasonably nice sort of 15 signal here. Yeah, I really like that. Lovely sound. Solid. Well, I got a little bit overexcited then. <laughs> I thought it was another hammered, but when I turned it over, ah, another button. Never mind. Sounded lovely though. Right, I've got a sort of 16, 17 signal here. Sounds quite deep. Well, it was quite deep and I thought it was a coin, but I actually, I don't think it is. I think it's a broken huge button or something like that. Not really sure. I think the shank would have been in the middle there, perhaps, because it's got some sort of silvery gilt on the back here and it's quite thin. Yeah, not sure. I don't think it's a coin. I think it's probably a bit of an old button. Right, I've got an absolutely cracking sounding 13, 14 here. Sounds absolutely lovely. Well, that sounded absolutely stunning. A little pistol shot there. Add a bit of variety to the day's finds. I've had a lovely array of finds today. Well, that is not a bad day's detecting at all, is it? A lovely crotal bell, hammered coin, two Romans, William II half penny. Interesting hand clasp thing. I'll take that. 
that's been a cracking day. Right, that is it from me for today. I've had an absolutely lovely day in the sunshine, dusting off the cobwebs, haven't been out for a couple of weeks, and it was fantastic to find that lovely array of finds. I'm done for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.